92% of the people that say that they are Jews today are in fact Ashkenazi, sons of Goma, so thereby are the synagogue of Satan they who say they are Jews and are not. So who are the real Jews? That's the question that has been posed to me many times over the past months. And there's really two answers to that question. And I'm going to be thorough today because I need to be thorough. Because when you speak about this, it's going to upset a lot of people. So we're going to have to take our time in the scripture. So bear with me. Two answers to that question. One, I already addressed in the rotting stick of false restoration and the synagogue of Satan teaching. And that is, who are the true Jews? Well, I already spoke about that earlier at Sukkot. Even the Ethiopian Jews, they're called the Falashas, meaning those that are black. Zephaniah chapter 3 verse 10. From beyond the rivers of Ethiopia, my worshippers, the daughters, my dispersed ones. That's the Queen of Sheba and her sons migrated and dispersed to Ethiopia. Lamentations chapter 4 verse 2. The precious sons of Zion are comparable to fine gold. Verse 8. Their visage is blacker than coal. And the concise Oxford English Dictionary, the 10th edition, tells us that visage is a poetic literary of a person's face with reference to the form of their features. A person's facial expression is what? Blacker than coal. You start to connect the language and you start to see. Bereshit, Genesis chapter 9 verse 27. We have got the Ashkenazi sons of Japheth that have infiltrated into the land and are what? They've got the whole world convinced. The whole world convinced that they are sons of Shem. But look what it says in Bereshit chapter 9 verse 27. It actually tells you that Yahweh, who is omnipotent, it is his will because he has actually deceived them into doing this. They are so deceived into doing this. Look at Genesis 9 20, 27. Elohim will entice and deceive. The Hebrew word there is patah. Patah. He will deceive Japheth. Ashkenaz, the sons of Japheth, and he will dwell, that means Ashkenaz will dwell in the tents of the Shemites. Is that what's happening today? Has he deceived the Ashkenazi so much, those from the Russian steppes, the Caucasians, he's deceived them so much that they're actually dwelling in the place where the real Shemite should dwell? Genesis 9 verse 27. You see, Yahweh is the one that...